Do you ever stop and just think about how much money you spent at one place? Like over the years, Cabela's has just been a big black hole that sucks up everything my bank account has ever known. Cabela's and Chipotle, my two money suckers. Anyway, what is up, y'all? Welcome to the video. We're about to go in here to Cabela's and why not, man, spend a little bit more money. So as you guys know, here in Delaware, it's been cold and it has been really hard to catch fish. This is the time of the year where the fish go to their World War III underground bunkers. It's just science. They don't want your Lord's baits. They're down there eating ramen noodles. Like evolution is just crazy. Today, we are going to be going for a fish that should hopefully be biting right now maybe this is like a little bit out of my comfort zone but there's a possibility for some freaking giant fish behemoth possible thick johns it is popping out here though i gotta admit though until i owned a truck which i just recently got one never noticed like 70 percent of the freaking whole cabela's parking lot is trucks <laughs> am i part of the club all right still bumping christmas music cabela's i can dig it so first today i'm in this aisle because i need to get organized when we're going to be on the camper i'm not going to have like super a lot of space yeah i'm completely unorganized right now so i need to get some kind of i mean they actually have a pretty big freaking selection of these little plastic tackle boxes which, like, which one's the best i don't know 20 dollars for four of these it's literally just plastic i mean i guess they're just all expensive this is 8.99 you want to store your spinner baits buzz baits $15.99. You want to store some crankbaits? $14.99. Did I say that? Yeah, that's $14.99. They also got some bins that like store the soft plastic packages. Why did I not, not know that this was a thing? Again though, $14.99. I got some work to do. You should see it's a mess. I usually throw things in like buckets or my tackle bag and it's just, there's a lot of stuff. Yet again, Cabela's is sucking my money. You know what? Actually, I'm going to look online and see if I can get this stuff like cheaper. If any of you guys have like tackle storage recommendations, please let me know down in the comments below. Oh my gosh. I'm not gonna call y'all out, man, but Cabela's kind of lacking in the bait department. One lonely mealworms, 36 count. And then we also, what are these? Little, oh, these are like dyed grass shrimp. We have a couple packages of them and some uh, baking soda. Kind of lacking though. I mean, it's January, but like this is the time of the year that we like need this kind of stuff. All right, y'all. Here is the section that we are gonna be looking at here today. Boom! Exactly what we're looking for. Eight ounce loaded spire nine inch striper umbrella dude this is 44 dollars ever wonder how much a 16 ounce trolling sinker cost 999 not too bad <laughs> i feel like that would have been way more expensive 16 ounce okay yeah no half of this aisle i just got distracted i mean look at stuff man from here down to the left this is what we we're going to be looking at man big old catfish and carp section giant catfish hooks we got other catfish hooks furry things i mean this is like the, the interesting part of catfish and carp fishing is if there's just a bunch of rigs that I don't know, I don't understand, and I kind of want to. Hog Wild Dipper, loads and holds for better fishing. This is like a Nerf dart right here. Both catfish and carp are species that can still bite during these cold winter months. Not saying that they will bite, not saying that this is like the best time to fish for them, but there's a possibility that they can still bite. And that's all we need, man, just a chance. All right, so every time I pass this aisle, this stuff right here, just like the flavors for this catches my eye. We got like mulberry, strawberry, peppercorn i don't think i've seen that one yet bluegill bait no, i don't even know what that is we got vanilla which i heard something disturbing apparently vanilla like the flavoring comes from beavers anal glands can i get a fact check <laughs> did those guys hear that what's interesting is these flavors are and now cool the packaging kind of looks sorta um this stuff magic bait i used that in the catfishing challenge not that long ago this i i just don't know man a lot of you guys said it sucks too but no offense to magic bait. I got no bites. I fished with it like all day and then I put some corn on it and got some instant bites. Let me know if you guys have had good experience. Like I, again, I'm not knocking the brand. Maybe, I, I don't know. These are pretty interesting too, but I have never had any luck um, with any kind of baits like this. Let me know if you guys have. I mean, if they were like fresh baby shad or fresh fathead minnows. Oh, those look very, those look fake almost. And then what do we have? Emerald shiners. It looks like they just dyed these shiners. Uh, we got cut shad. I mean, all this stuff could work. But uh, in my experience, I mean, it's just better if you have fresh stuff and then you can like cut it. Same with like these turds. I feel like I've used these before and I just, yeah, I don't, ew, that looks very interesting. All right, well, look at the rigs here and everything in a second. But first, up here, this is where the kind of more interesting stuff that I think I might try to use here today. So I believe these are like dip baits and we got the uh, old chum buckets here, cheese dip bait. I think uh, even down here, hold on, let's start down here, right? Primo original. Super sticky catfish dip bait, three dollars nineteen cents. This one's five sixty nine. The hog wild cheese. Oh, we got the yeah, same one up here. Sudden impact, fiber enriched. Works with bear treble hooks. Eleven dollars forty nine cents though. It's not even that big. Secret seven mega mouth bucket. 
premium catfish dip bait. That's even smaller for $9. $4 uh, catfish cheese bait, shad, blood, cheese, shad, blood. See, I don't know about the magic bait stuff, but this is kind of interesting, man. We got some chum. Tracks catfish, bait, and panfish. I've not really had luck with freshwater chumming. I actually have a video where we use those bait pods. It's like a bath bomb for fishing. And I don't know, those have not really worked for me in freshwater. Question is, which one of these? I feel like we should get two and then have one on one rod, one on the other. Which ones do we get though to put head to head here? All right, on the back of this one, it kind of shows you a rig. I saw this dipper, I think, where was it? Yeah, look, like over here. We got a dipper for the hog wild. 569, we'll get that, we'll get a dipper or two. I think what would be interesting, let's compare this. This is premium catfish bait, and then we'll compare that to I don't know, is this premium? Who is this? Nine, dude, that's like twice the price on this. Put these two down over here. Now that package said to use the dippers, but we also have the Nerf darts, which are just bait holders. What are these? Bait holders? That kind of looks like a bigger one of that. And then what is this? this kid? It's like a sponge with a treble. Oh, and then these are kind of what we use in that other catfish challenge. It kind of, I guess, holds the bait. Let's pick up this dip, oh, this dipper. And these are kind of interesting too. These are dip bait worms. I feel like they like see that. I guess the treble sticks out the end. I don't know. If you guys have any idea about any of this stuff, let me know. These look interesting up here too. These have like holes in them. Let's get one of these then. 649. So you get trebles, which we could just put on the treble or we could try out these uh, worm things. I don't know what color is the best. I feel like those are too bright. Let's get this one. Maybe it'll look like a bleeding out fish. Here's our workstation day. So we drove over to a public park here. And let me just show you this real quick. So look how clear water is you go out a little bit i don't even know if you guys can see that or not but that is a layer of straight ice across this whole freaking water dude that's like delaware in a nutshell it's cold but not cold enough to ice fish but cold enough for ice it's good enough to go fishing i'll tell you that all right so let's take a look here at what we got before i left cabela shout out to all the employees over there by the way you guys are awesome i was talking to one employee who goes catfishing and like uses stuff like this and he kind of told me some stuff in the winter time apparently cheese and blood baits work the best hopefully this cheese stuff does something and he also said that it's pretty interesting so this secret seven it's called secret seven because they don't actually tell you what's in it all we know is it's premium so we got our rod holder things we've got two rods we got the rigs we got the bait there's a bunch of geese it's kind of funny there's like seagulls and seagulls that are just out there standing on the ice and then in the open water just geese roaming oh my gosh yeah no that's not hot <sighs> dude i could not recommend these little rod holder things enough they're like three bucks one time i was using a stick it was like this exact spot bait was in the water next thing i do freaking whole setup was in the water. i don't know how i snagged it with like a jig on my other rod i was so freaking lucky let's go for the dipper Oh boy, they're tangled. Yoink that out a little bit, try to get some of that tangle out. Okay, we tie that onto uh, the end of our swivel slash snap. Once again, nail clipper gang. Okay, I think this is pretty much the rig. So we have tiny little sinker slider thingy going to our snap swivel, and then that goes down to our little nerf dart. And that nerf dart has some treble hooks in it at the end. It's actually like a spongy material. The guy at Cabela's was saying that like, that just kind of holds the scent. So I don't, this, this kind of makes sense to me, but I guess we just dip it in and then take it out and it's just full of the crap. And then they smell it and I, they eat the Nerf dart. This is all very weird to me. Let's open up this dude right here. He said the cheese. So we're gonna go with the cheese. We'll test both of them out, but we're gonna hit the cheese first. If I was a catfish, I'd probably go for the cheese first. Oh yeah, doesn't that just look delicious right there? Oh wait, this is magic bait as well. I did not even know that. Hmm. Interesting. Is there a thing? Oh, no, it just goes, ooh. I guess we gotta give it the smell test, right? Oh, <coughs> that smells interesting. Need a stick, need a stick. These'll do. That'll be my backup stick. So he said, let me see this. He said, put this into there. Oh, no. Oh, this was in my car. Oh, no, is it too cold? Hopefully I didn't mess that up. I don't I think it's supposed to be a little bit not as cold, but it should work, hopefully. Oh boy, we are gonna pack that onto this. Let's see what it looks like. Hello? Sure. That looks fine to me. I think I would pack it a little in more. That looks good, I think. First cast, I'm gonna get it definitely out there in the deeper-ish of the water. I'm just hoping something's gonna be wanting to eat, man. It's not like a day where the sun is really out, um, so this water's not gonna warm up too much. So hopefully it just, Something is gonna smell this bait. 
You know, actually, I'm not even gonna put that drag too, too loose. Since this isn't a circle hook, I'm used to catfishing or just fishing like this with circle hooks. Usually I can just let them take it a little bit and then I'll like hook them automatically in the side of the mouth when I just reel in. But this is just different. This is a Nerf dart with freaking trouble. So I always recommend to like whenever I just get a bite, you just gotta set it, man. I do just wanna say though, in this body of water, there are supposedly some giant channel catfish, some big old blue catfish, and I don't really even know what else. I know there's bullhead and just a bunch of other species of fish, but as far as catfish goes, I mean, they're supposedly giants. Y'all catfishermen are probably cringing at this. Dude, we're, we're learning together, man. You gotta start somewhere, right? These new techniques and rigs are pretty interesting. All right, secret seven, break. I broke it a lot. Okay, are you cheesy or bloody? Oh, that's not a nice smell in my nostril. Should I put that Nerf dart on or should we put one of these or should we put one without the it says world's bass dude Ugh. bring me some luck catfish charlie what do these look like oh dude it's a freaking tangled why do they do that that makes me like not want to untangle that oh yeah oh my gosh all right we're all tangled up i don't know dude we're just gonna go with the trouble just get this in the water and then i'll try to untangle that stuff keyword try that is a lot of tangledness you guys are probably cringing so hard we're using the leaf strat here this stuff is all stanky that is what we got i mean that's kind of like very similar to uh trout fishing with power bait it's a lot stankier so nothing too crazy on this one we're just putting a split shot and then this dude down there, I should be able to fling it out far enough. I'm just hoping this stuff doesn't fling off in the process. Stayed on. I think it's actually gonna be pretty good. I think we're rolling, man. My hands, I can already not feel, so that's the thing. As far as gear goes, again, we're using this Lose American Hero combo. I got this in, I think, a Dick Sporting Goods challenge a while ago. And then over here, we got the Lose Pro TI with a custom black reel. I'm just hoping that we got these out there far enough. I might need to add some weight. We'll give it a, we'll give it a little bit. I don't know how long these are gonna stay on either. In other news, we have a shopping cart in this body of water too. They struck again, man. Who like, who does that? Y'all are some weirdos, man, whoever does that stuff. See, this is like the tough kind of fishy to do in conditions like this. Like it's kind of windy-ish today and it's like it's pretty dang cold. When you're just kind of standing and watching, like I'm the kind of, like if we're fishing in super cold temperatures or whatever temperatures, I'm the kind of guy that likes to be casting, casting, casting. But this kind of like bait and weight, something I don't do a lot and it definitely like helps you practice patience especially in this colder conditions. This type of fishing though, I mean, when you see that, dude, dude, super freaking exciting. Martha's down there, she's still smelling the cheese, crawling her way out of her bunker, obviously. So if you are new to the channel or you haven't been watching the videos recently, things are about to get pretty crazy. Kelsey and I have pretty much sold all of our stuff and we bought a camper. We're gonna be full-time camping RV life. This month, we're gonna be starting the adventure. First going down south like to Florida to get away from just the cold. These Delaware winters are not a fisherman's happy place. But yeah, after Florida, we're gonna be going all around. The videos are gonna be so sick. If you guys have any cool fishing opportunities or you know any captains or you just have like some really cool fishing spots, I actually made an email. I'll pop it up on the screen right here and I'll put it down in the description below. Send an email to that email with the uh, state that you're in in the subject so it'll be easy to find when we're going to that state. Just let me know, you know, what's going on in the opportunity opportunities in your area. I want to fish with as many of you as possible. Like that would be so freaking sick. Hmm, what do we do? So we've been soaking here for like 35 minutes. Do I pull them up? Do we just let them go? I don't know if like the dip fell off or maybe a fish is been creeping up on it, about to bite it. It's so cold that like the coldness is zapping the life out of my batteries. <sighs> All right, I guess, I mean, let's drill this one up. Let's see. Trying to get that out a little further. Still has stuff on it. Why is that so heavy? Oh, we were like on a stick. That was a little bit better of a cast last time. Ooh, all right, next spot. On this single treble hook, we are just going with some cheesiness. Since this dip bait is like so frozen, I'm like painting it on with the stick and just kind of like pressing it in. Let's get that out there. I don't know, we'll see if any of this does anything. Let me know, what is your go-to catfish bait? And does that like change at all in the winter? Do you guys ever use these dip baits, cheesy, bloody, fibery? A lot, a lot, a lot of stuff works for catfish. They're like very opportunistic feeders. I mean, anything that's oily or just like smelly or they have a bunch of uh, taste buds all over their body. So just anything that, you know, has a strong scent flavor. Cup bait, shad, minnows, chicken liver. This one just got... Hello. Hello. 
dude. That's a good fish. Dude. Dude, 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 dude. This is four pound test too, I think. Oh my gosh. Hold on. This is just on the uh, treble too. No, my GoPro's about to die, so hopefully that doesn't happen. Oh my gosh. Oh, dude. Four pound test. He's sluggish. You can tell he's cold. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Oh no, 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 no. Oh dude, what is that? Oh gosh. All right, four pound test. Four pound test. Just just relax. Just try. I, 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 you're in good hands, bud. I just cannot lift that at all by the line. Okay, 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 okay. Look, man, I know, I know, I know. We're gonna get you right back into the water here. That is, this is like a true warrior fish right here. Oh my God. Oh, that is a freaking cold fish. We just want to take a look at you real quick, bud. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God. Bro, that is the biggest catfish I've caught in so long. Can you guys freaking see? Oh my gosh, look at that fish. Look at that freaking fish. Put my other camera back in the car because it was freezing. Holy crap. <gasps> Okay, cheesy, uh, cheesy looks like it works. Oh my gosh, freaking fatty, dude. Hey, let me put him down real quick. Here's my hand. That is a big, fat cat. Okay, so that's the rod right there. Look at this freaking beast of a catfish. He's got a crazy looking eye. You can tell he's a warrior, man. He's been in this water for a while. These fish are very hardy, but I want to get him back in as quickly as possible. That freaking mouth, dude. I have not been on my catfish game, so I cannot tell you exactly what kind of catfish that is. I think channel catfish normally have split tails. I don't know if this dude does. Is this like a blue, white? Oh, dude, he's so heavy, too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, dude, that just, that feels so freaking good. Thank you so much for biting, buddy. All right, we're gonna put you back. That was on the cheese, I think. <sighs> Oh my gosh. I mean, that is a giant. Okay, there he goes. Ouch! My hand is freaking out. All right, well, that just made everything worth it, dude. Might have to get this hand amputated. That was a nice freaking fish, dude. Oh my gosh. If you guys are not already, please make sure to go down there, smack the crap out of that thumbs up button. And that's just on the normal. I mean, nothing fancy. That was just on the treble hook. And look, I don't know if, I mean, maybe that spot, if I would have casted the other rig in, maybe that fish would have bit as well. I don't know. Whew, all right. Well, let's pack some more cheesy goodness on here. That was sick. Let's try to replicate that. I mean, that thing probably weighed almost 10 pounds. Just kind of put that back in that spot. Oh my gosh. Okay, now imagine that fish that we just caught, but times like three or times four. Apparently there's some like 30, 40, 50 pound fish in this freaking water one of those hit it man that oh my gosh i don't know if that four pound test could hold on to that it's so interesting though because you could tell like when i was fighting that fish it was fighting pretty good i could tell it's heavy but you, you could just tell like this water is freaking cold as crap just by the way it was fighting usually catfish you know the bang bang crazy head shakes i mean he was doing that but just like such slower motion like these fish are cold dude i mean when i brought it up that was like a catfish popsicle they should start selling that flavor again though if you guys know what kind of species of catfish that was at first i thought channel but don't channels have like a forked tail maybe they have the not fork it definitely was a catfish i can tell you that this lighting is low-key cheeks but we caught some fish on the dip bait that was a nice fish man i'm very happy about that all i gotta say man subscribe if you are not already hit that thumbs up button if you did enjoy the video let's keep this rolling, man thank you guys for watching see you next video you wanna know just well